Hey, Allison Verhalen here, and today I'm talking to you guys about your Facebook funnel. So most of us probably think of social media as one part of our overall sales funnel, but today I'm going to have you think about each social media channel as its own funnel and how you want to nurture leads and guide them along that funnel into the next stage of your funnel, which should hopefully be to go to your website. So I will admit that I messed up here because when I was doing Facebook advertising, I haven't done it in months, if not more than a year at this point, um, and all I wanted was to get clicks to my website. And I got a few, but not a whole lot. Um, and when, If you're unfamiliar with Facebook advertising, every time you boost a post, you put, or Facebook advertising or boosting a post, um, every time you do that, you can put the goal. What do you want people to do when they see this? Do you want them to like your page? Do they? Do you want them to follow your page? Or do you want them to click to your website? And I always said, click to my website because that is my end goal on social media, is to get people to my website and then from there I lead them further down the rest of my funnel. But that was silly of me because I have talked in other blog posts and other videos about how you have to keep the social in social media. No one likes to be sold to, especially on social media. They want to build relationships, they want to get to know you, they want to feel that they can trust you and that you care about them as a person before they'll go to your website and buy from you. And I should have known that and I completely forgot about that when I was making my boosted posts on Facebook. So I was talking to someone recently who has gone about it much more strategically. And what he did is he really nurtured those leads on Facebook and turned them into warm leads and then guided them to his website. And it was so obvious after he told me about this that I was like, how could I not have thought about this? So what he does is when he boosts a post or publishes a Facebook ad, his goal is not for people to go to his website, but just to like his page. Now first I'm going to say there's a difference between liking your page and following your page. I don't know why Facebook makes it complicated, but they do. So if you're not aware, liking a page is not necessarily following your page. But following your page does automatically include liking the page. So always get people to follow your page if you can because they might like your page and that Facebook will see that and that will help you in the algorithm and that's great, but that's not everything because that does not necessarily mean that they will see that po your next posts again, whereas if they're following you, you will show up in their feed and they'll see more of your posts and then they'll get to know you and it'll build that relationship with them. So that's what this friend of mine was doing. He was building that relationship with his audience before and building up a, a solid Facebook following so that he was getting in front of more people organically in addition to getting in front of more people when he paid to boost posts. So he built up his following and then he published a post that included a link to his website and he made it super valuable. It was either, you know, it could be a service that he offers, it could be a blog post with a lot of tips, it could be a sale that he's running or a special promotion, whatever it is to, to tempt people who already know and like him at this point. They're already warm leads. He's turning them into hot leads and guiding them from Facebook to his website and then through the rest of his sales funnel from there. So that kind of blew my mind <laughs> when he told me about this and I was like, how could I not have thought about this? So. Now I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about other social media channels. If, if there's a channel like that on Facebook where you can build your own Facebook funnel, I would also add, he did not mention Facebook groups, but I would definitely add that you should consider making a Facebook group around your industry and the services that you offer, and use that as part of your funnel, because getting people into the group can sometimes be easier than getting them to like or follow your page, um, but again, they're in your group, they're seeing what you're posting, they're seeing your face every time they go into that group, they, they're seeing your brand, they're building that relationship. So that can be super valuable. So that is one thing that I would add is consider building a Facebook group and incorporating that into your Facebook funnel. And when you're done with that and you've got awesome warm leads coming in from Facebook into your site, then try doing that with other social media sites. Whatever social media sites you're on, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook or um, Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is, 
consider nurturing those warm leads. That's why I keep telling people to engage on social media. You can't just post and expect people to get to your site. You have to engage with them. You have to respond to comments. You have to like their posts. You have to comment on other people's posts. You have to build those relationships. And that is one great way to do it on Facebook is just get in front of them organically again and again and build that relationship and then guide them to your site. So those are my tips for today. Have a great week and happy marketing.